Welcome to my first Transformers Age of Extinction figure review. This time we're looking at the Leader Class Optimus Prime figure. Now this is not the uh, first edition one that was released uh, online exclusive. I did not like the looks of that figure at all and I was really looking forward to the Leader Class one, the official one, the mainline one and luckily uh, the toys aren't actually supposed to come out till the 17th but today being the 10th it's very surprised that I found one of these on the shelf at, at a target not my closest one but the one uh, one far away from me it just I happened to stop by they did not have Grimlock they just had this one but that's one I was really looking forward to uh, I normally don't look at the uh, packaging much anymore but since this is the first of this line to take a look. It's a brand new packaging design. I think I think it's a little bit more uh, a little bit uh, more simple than the past lines, and a little bit easier. I think I, I like the look of it. Just a big uh, white logo here. Transformers here. You see down at the bottom. It says uh, Transformers: Age of Extinction. Uh, has you know, just Transformers there. Promo shots on the back. Uh, cross-sell item of Grimlock there which I'm also really looking forward to that one bio plain white background this side just the Autobot logo uh, barely anything on the bottom and barely anything on top very simple but I like it it's not as uh, flashy as some of the other movie line toys such as Dark of the Moon or Revenge of the Fallen but I really like this back then it's it's quite simple, but still pretty eye-catching, too. All right, enough of the box. Let's uh, take out the figure and check it out. And here we have Optimus in his truck mode. And I have to say that this is one of the nicest vehicle modes that we've gotten in the entire Transformers movie line. And I'd say definitely one of the, probably the best-looking uh, Optimus toy we've gotten, in, at least in truck mode. They added, uh, this is the... Uh, a first we've had in the Transformers American toy line in a while where the majority of the higher end figures have chrome on them and this one has the chrome in the appropriate spots such as on the sun visor on the grill on the smokestacks on the fuel tanks unlike that uh, evasion two-pack Toys R Us exclusive where it has random parts of chrome like on the kneecaps or which stuff that's not necessary but this I really like the chrome placement on the on the truck mode it's really nice really gives it that really nice uh shininess and just really just new wow factor in it and all the wheels are surprisingly rubber i was i was uh opening the package uh expecting the toys or the tires to be uh plastic but upon inspection and rolling it they're definitely rubber and they will come off if you want them to all the wheel caps have autobot symbols on them which is really really nice uh there's a unpainted western star logo towards the back uh tires and it does actually say western star towards the front end uh underneath the doors all the Windows are tinted yellow for whatever reason. Doesn't it look, doesn't look bad? Just kind of a uh, awkward. Uh, it does have a molded in Autobot symbol on the front grill, and it looks just, just very very nice. Now there is some uh, points of weapon storage you can store the shield slash gun, which I think looks amazing. The the, the design of this gun is really cool. Um, you can store right here on, on top of the fifth wheel here or as people like to call it the trailer hitch right there and you can store the sword right there in a slot that can also be used for the robot mode later on and since the tires are made uh, out of rubber it rolls very smooth very nice um, also it's kind of it's kind of an upside and a downside this is the first time, in the, at least in the movie line, where the leader class figures have not had any electronics or uh, lights. No sounds in the lights, no electronics, nothing. Which I liked. I never was too fond of the electronics and um, from previous leader class figures. The only time, only exceptions where I liked them was when you heard the transformation sound. But overall, I was never too dead set on them because if they could take away the budget of the lights and sounds and just add it to just the just to the toy itself as far as transformation or 
chrome in this case I think it's worth it so I'm not heartbroken about there being no no lights or uh, sounds in the in these figures I I just like the kind of the you know let the toy be the gimmick itself not trying to add stuff to it so it is a little bit smaller than say the um, Revenge of the Fallen leader class Optus Prime I don't have him out right now he's uh, in storage in my in my tent and bins and but he is like a little bit small but not too much but he but this would be would uh, scale very nicely with um, any other Voyager or Deluxe class figures so that's about it for uh, vehicle mode. There's nothing else. Oh, you do see the uh, the uh, guard here in the back, which is very nice. I really do like the placement of these smokestacks here. Got the Autobot symbols there. Very nice. Only other, I mean, I don't really have any uh, complaints about this. It does. It does. If I did have one, it does feel a bit hollow here towards the back. But there's nothing uh, too bad there. It has a good amount of weight to it. Just all around very decent, very nice looking track mod. So up next is the transformation. All right, first step is of the transformation is to take the truck mode and just simply lift up the top like that. Next, we'll just take off the sides, and just pull them down uh, all the way down like this, and we'll. Go ahead and do that to both sides, just like that. Next up, we'll take the rear section of the vehicle and just kind of uh, flip it up like this. And while we have it here, we'll just go ahead and slide this piece on down. Next up, we'll take the arms and bring the forearms down like this. Uh, and go ahead and bring them up at the sh elbows, shoulders, I mean like that and I'll go ahead and do it to the other side as well straighten out the arms next I'm going to form the shoulder pads by splitting the roof like this and just flatten them out like that and following that I'm just going to straighten out the chest with the legs like take so. the, the front grill up and flip them around. Next step, which I thought was kind of surprising but kind of cool too, is you actually take the top half of the front of the truck and flip it around like so. Very cool how this was done. So you end up with something like that. You can kind of start to see the robot uh, take shape here. Next, we're just going to turn around at the waist here and I'm going to go ahead and bring up the feet from the bottom like so. Next step, pretty simple, just gonna rotate these uh, front wheels down like this. Next to do the uh, skirt pieces, gonna take these pieces up and detach this side here and this will kind of form like that. Go ahead and do that to this side as well. Let's finish that on that side. Just like that. Last finishing steps, I'm just going to bring this piece down to form this cod piece. Going to bring down the chest piece and now pop up the head. A little bit of, they threw in a little bit of automorph gimmick there. And there you have Optimus in robot mode. Now this is a very, very new, very interesting new look for Optimus Prime in the movie franchise. We've, he's pretty much had the same look for throughout the th uh, first three films, except for the third one, Dark the Moon, he had some robo abs added on and uh, a couple little additions to his forearms but most, for the most part he was remained exactly the same this is wildly different and they're definitely going for kind of like a uh, a royal knight type theme here uh, just with uh, his weapons are pretty uh, obvious and just like kind of like the subtle touches of his shoulder pads kind of look like uh, knight armor and just little pieces here and there to give him very royal uh, royal look to him and uh, 
give it's a good uh, fresh take on the kind of a seven year old uh, movie design which is very nice uh, to see uh, as far as articulation goes he does have a uh, which is a ball joint to neck but it's a little bit limited but you are able to get some real nice uh, tilts expressive tilts such as this so you can look up a little bit and down but not a whole lot of range and because the automorph gimmick he does have a little bit of a springy head here so that's a little bit bothersome but not bad uh, he does have very nice ratchety clicky shoulders here and you can move his shoulder pads out of the way for posability sakes he does have a 90 degree clicky bend at the elbow and with a, a swivel and just a tad bit above the elbow. His wrists do not move, but surprisingly his thumbs do. And I, that is to uh, accommodate his uh, sword, I believe. Uh, he does not have a waist gimmick, but you can turn, uh, to, for the transformation, you can turn his hips a little bit down here, but with all his junk in the way, it's a little bit limited. But if you can get a little bit out of there, if you need to for a certain pose, you can. But it's not really meant for posability. He does have a uh, ratchety waist here. And this uh, hip piece normally will there you go. Will, uh, move this aside so you can get some kicks like that. Probably got way too close right a second there, but it likes to kick that off to the side. Uh, got a swivel in the just above the knee here. Got a real clicky knee there too. And there is a little bit of foot articulation, but I believe this is all just due to the transformation it was not actually meant uh, for posability. Although it could be wrong there, but it is slightly limited. Overall, posability is pretty fun with this figure. Uh, it's not horrible at all, but I think it's just due to the armor being in certain places. It can be a little bit limited at Let's times. Let's take a little bit of a closer look at this figure. He has a, a new type of faceplate going on here. A little bit more detail. Uh, a lot of uh, paint apps going on. I like how they painted the silver around the eyes, which they did not do on the uh, RLTF Leader Optimus. Uh, but they could have added some more silver on the head, which I believe they are doing for the Takara version. Uh, you can still see the silver, uh, the chrome smokestacks here in Robomo, which is very nice. Uh, he does have some real nice chrome in his chest here. Uh, I I would have liked maybe the the uh, collar pieces here to be chrome also, which I know they did do in the first edition. I would like the collar pieces to be a little bit more prominent here, but it still looks really good. A lot of nice detail here in the torso. Uh, and I know that the Japanese one's also going to have some flame uh, painted on flames in here, but that's not a big deal to me. Uh, his arms are also nicely detailed. You can see like a little bit of... I guess uh, gears going on here in his arms. I'm not sure exactly what kind of detail that is, but it's very well nice. Uh, he's got a hole here on his left arm, which is for his gun slash shield, if you can see it. Gonna go down to the bottom. Everything, all the rest of it is pretty basic. Not too bad, not too uh, uh, glamorous either. Pretty. Now he does have a bit of a backpack. Um, this was a big uh, issue with a lot of people when this figure was first revealed at Comic Con nearly a full year ago. But in person, it is not very bad at all. Yes, I would like the backpack to be a little bit more uh, hidden, just to give the figure a little bit more of a streamlined uh, look to it. But it's it's pretty narrow. It's only about two and a half inches wide maybe three and it's pretty well confined and most angles it's not too noticeable unless you look at from back of that but it's not as bad as a backpack on the first edition that the first edition's backpack was horrible this is a little bit more confined I get, my rule of thumb is if it can lay down flat that's not bad and be uh, looking comfortable 
it's fine and this one pulls that off pretty uh, successfully now let's take a look at his weapons he does come with this really cool sword uh, it's definitely different from any of the other handheld or bladed weapons he's using in the other films uh, it's definitely kind of has that uh, Excalibur uh, look or more if you want to go Cybertron it's a star saber look going on and you can it has uh, two holes on either side of the handle here and you can move the thumb out of the way and kind of what there's a peg on the inside of his palm that it'll it'll attach to like that you can close the thumb up over that and you can take his shield gun or otherwise known as the grimlock slapping weapon which uh, is really awesome in the part of the trailer where he just slaps Grimlock in the outside of the head with it and you attach it there. So this really kind of completes the look of a you know of a King Arthur type of transformer, which I'm really really liking the look of. So in conclusion, this figure is very very good the vehicle mode is awesome the transformation is about say is about as uh, complicated as the first leader class uh, movie Optimus Prime uh, from 2007 while it seems kind of uh, intuitive at first it's oh, not too uh, hard and but it's still pretty fun it has a couple interesting twists and turns the robot mode is very beef, very very beefy, very um, badass looking. The armor is a little bit can get a little bit in the way for posability, but that's just due to the design of the toy. The backpack can be a little bit distracting for certain people, but I w as of course I would have liked to see the backpack a little be incorporated a little bit more into the toy. I. I'm not griping on it because it is a little bit of a smaller backpack. It's not too bad. Uh, the chrome placement. I wish there was a little bit more chrome placement in robot mode, but that's nitpicky for me. Uh, otherwise, the weapons uh, work and look great. The is a very nice uh, presentation uh, look to it. And overall, I can't. I can definitely recommend this toy if you're looking. F um, to get a new Optimus Prime for your toy shelf, just want to, if you're kind of sick of the old, old movie design, this is going to be a fresh, fresh, uh, fresh upgrade for you. Definitely recommend picking this one up. Uh, all right, until next time. Thank you for watching.